Good morning, YouTube. My name is Sam Cozen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm walking my dog. I post a lot of food, things about fitness. So welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. And super glad you're here. Today I'm gonna do a what my Instagram decides, no, what my Instagram decides I eat in a day or what my subscribers decide I eat in a day, whatever people call these videos. Anyway, so I posted on my Instagram right before I came up for my walk, a few different options of my breakfast, fingers crossed for avocado toast, obviously. And when we get back, we'll see what I'm eating. But we're currently walking around, pretty nice day. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you back in my kitchen. I jinxed the nice weather raining on us. Whew. All right, back in, got a little rained on, but that's all right. Let's take a look at what I'm eating. I also understand I didn't really give like a ton of time. I'll give more for lunch. I'll post it like right when I get to school. I gotta vote for myself too, and obviously I'm ordering avocado toast. <laughs> Mexi breakfast bowl one. Like I said, not a lot of people got to vote, but that's okay. We can have a Mexi breakfast bowl. Thank you to the 18 of you that did vote avocado toast. There is a few things you don't get a choice on. I'm always drinking a ton of water. And I'm gonna have my greens. Cheers! I actually love it so much. Like, it's my favorite thing to have first thing. So I'm not sure mushrooms are like the most suiting, but I want them. So that's what we're gonna put in there. Also some tomato, refried beans, rice, salsa some chez and might be about it. Okay, we also need some greens in here. So I actually haven't like talked to YouTube in a while because last week's video was filmed the week before because it was a what I eat a week. And so I just feel like you guys don't know what's going on. I'm moving next week, which I kind of mentioned that we were looking for a place. Finally found a place, like crazy luck. I was kijijing and driving, which don't do. But I ended up finding a place, we went and saw it the next day, that night they offered it to us, it was awesome, worked out so well. Before that though, I cut my thumb open on a can, passed out, had to go to the hospital, everything, that was bad. Currently on like the last week of school, it's Thursday, there's ghosts in my house. Yeah, those are some updates. What else? Oh, I got my eyebrows done by a girl named Roxy in Regina. She was awesome. And I got my hair redone. Thanks, Danny. You're the man. So say you're the man. She's the woman. She's awesome too. That's kind of like all I need to tell you. Got all sorts of things going in on this pan. I only have one whole egg. All right, I'm pretty sure this isn't necessarily authentic on any means, but Looks good. This is the best salsa, I'll say it again. The white corn and black bean salsa, president's choice, best one. Co-op also makes one. You've been told. No idea if green onion is authentic, but that's okay. A little bit of nutritional yeast. Don't know where to put it that will make it look okay. I wish I had Valentina's. If you guys know, then you know Valentina's hot sauce. It's the best. It is, but we got sriracha. Why aren't you coming out? No idea what that angle is like. This is what we're looking like. And it looks delish. Let's see. <gasps> Perfect egg. Wow. I would dumb myself. They're getting a leafy green. Yep, it's delicious. It is. Mm, I'm happy. I was saying the car the other day, I was like, I just, I don't even know what I would eat for breakfast if I didn't have avocado toast. I eat this every day. I just went on to go check to make sure avocado toast wasn't winning and it isn't. Mexi bowl is still up by six. Thank you for not picking like the rice puff cereal though. I thought like I would throw myself a wrench in all the options and rice puff cereal was definitely that one. All right, back for lunch and couldn't be happier about the vote here. So we had a tahini grain bowl salad, canned chili or a tuna bagel sandwich. So again, trying to give myself one where it like wouldn't be the best, like canned chili, especially after I had beans for breakfast. Wouldn't be my favorite. Tahini green bowl salad won with 58 votes and tuna bagel sandwich was at 28. So, woo, I get what I told. Except this is all kind of prepped from yesterday because it's like the same thing I had then. But I'll show you how I assemble it. Big ass bowl. Some lettuce that you washed and rinsed 
and were too lazy to actually put in a container, so you just kept it in the salad container in the fridge. Got some mixed greens, so we have arugula and spinach, some cucumber and cherry tomato. Then I'm gonna toast up some chickpeas. I roll these out when I take them out of the can and take off these little skins as much as I can. And I usually do about like 90% of them. And then I just get annoyed and don't do the last little 10. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just like pulling them off real quick. Garlic powder. A little bit of lemon pepper today. Give that a shake. Sit for a minute and then we will assemble the rest of the salad. I thought I had some couscous left, but I don't. So, same, <clears throat> whoa, same rice that we used this morning. Just a couple chopped almonds there. We all know my favorite part lately is the cranberries, hemp seeds, Pickled turnips are one of my favorite little things to throw in here as well. On our pan here, we have a little bit of tofu, some chickpeas that we roasted up. I have my tahini dressing. I make it all the time in tons of videos. I'll post the recipe right there for you. It gets a little thicker as it sits in the fridge, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it, and then we'll shake up again. Taste it to make sure it's fabulous, which it is and pour it all over. And there you have the best tahini grain bowl ever. Bulgur wheat is my favorite grain to put in here because it's like a little thicker and chewier and I just like honestly love it. It's so underrated. If you ever see it, pick it up. It's so yummy. Back to school. Just got home from school and I got rained on on the way back. Anyway, I wanted to show you my joggers because these are from Superstore, which is apparently my favorite store lately. How freaking cute and I love that they tie up below the actual waistband. They're just so much more flattering, I think, that way. Love Bob. Okay, so I put on my story what I should have after school between pancakes, smoothie bowl, and oatmeal. And literally, both times I've looked at this, pancakes and smoothie bowl have been tied. So, we can go take Keats out here real quick for a walk, and we'll see what it is at when I come back. You guys are like kind of hating on oatmeal, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's officially 30 to 29 for pancakes. Okay, let's try this out. They're pretty big, so this might be hard. Okay, okay. Oh, maybe not quite ready to flip. <laughs> there we go. Just looking at this now, smoothie bowl is winning by four now. And avocado toast had won this morning by three. I just had a very dramatic moment where I said this tripod can make me cry. I hate it so much. If you could please put your recommendations down for a good tripod, I would really appreciate that because I can't keep fighting with this stupid piece of shit. Anyway, happy Sam is back. Let's eat some pancakes. They also took so long to cook because I just needed more flour, I think. Mmm, but so good. Is anyone's mood better just instantly the moment you start eating? Because mine, all the time. Anytime I'm grouchy, I'm like, just take me, and I'll, and I'll be fixed. I just got back from the grocery store. Hopefully, it's the last trip I'll make before I move. Anyway, here's what I got. Not a whole heck of a lot, but some cleaner. This is so annoying. I just ran out of dish soap a few days ago, and I'm like, I can make it through a week without washing. I was like, I'll just use my dishwasher, but no, like that's just not practical for living alone. Like there's sometimes I need to wash dishes right away. But I'm like, couldn't have just held out for one more week. And I know it's such a small thing, but like, you know, just the less you need to pack, every little bit counts. 
when you've moved 14 times like I have. Might even be more than 14, I don't really wanna know. I counted one time and I was like, whoa. I am too young to have been moving that much. Anyway, needed this for what you guys seem to be voting on tonight. I'll let you kind of take a guess. A red onion, a cucumber. Needed a little bit more almond milk. <laughs> Again, something I wish I would have run out of in a week, but whatever. Frozen broccoli, some spinach. Those things. One other thing, I bought these for my kids tomorrow, last day. Okay, sorry, Instagram's not getting a say in this one. I'm having a little bit of Skinny Pop popcorn. Skinny Pop popcorn, I swear to God, is like popular because the name is fun to say. Skinny Pop popcorn. Like, say it, it's fun. Skinny Pop popcorn. Heat. Say Skinny Pop popcorn. Not sponsored. Okay, so I posted. Out of cur courtesy, do I finish it? Mortal Kombat reference and yes. But by the time I finally posted it, <laughs> I finished it. Water is boiling. I have my homemade pierogies. I made these with my parents like a year and a half ago. And then these are currently my favorite sausages right now. So I'm going to do up one of those. In case you haven't cooked pierogies, once they float to the top, they're good. Sausage is good and just steamed some broccoli. Honestly, microwave broccoli is my favorite. Okay, this looks fabulous. I hope these pierogies are still good. I don't really see them going bad. Like, we freeze pierogies all the time. And I just like everything with salt and pepper and dark shit. Beauty. So good. Bite of the sausage. Also a nice steam shot. Ooh. Mm. Phenomenal. What a fabulous meal. Very happy. Mm. This is like so nostalgic. Literally growing up in a Ukrainian household, sausage pierogies, usually like peas I felt go, went with this meal, but this is like home, man. Also, like I don't think I said it, but clearly pierogies and sausage one. <laughs> oh, look it. That's a record, I think. It's just drooling off. Okay, that is gonna wrap up this video. I'm done eating. I had a few extra pierogies, as you would have seen. Thanks so much for being here and participating if you are on Instagram. And I hope this showed you that eating intuitively can still be healthy and you just make good choices. All of the choices that I presented today had some sort of healthy fat, carb, protein source. Eating healthy doesn't need to be as complicated as everyone thinks it does. It can be if you want to achieve your goals very strictly and quickly, but eating a healthy balanced lifestyle is not difficult. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and it was entertaining. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. What is that? And subscribe if you want. I would love that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.